Well, the other day when I was here, I was thinking about what these plumbers have to do next. We're just going to talk about plumbing on this particular video. And I see, I see right here, they've got a vent pipe here and they've got it supported and it's run up there. Why do you suppose that's like that? See how high it is? Well, they're getting ready for an inspection and what they have to do is they've got to fill that up with water and uh, they've got some water they've got some water over th that direction and they'll have to fill that up uh, with a hose um, when the inspectors here they'll have it all filled up and that's how they that's how they check out the drain line and see on the on the drain line pipes that come out everything that's stubbed up which are going to be for vents going up further they put caps on there see those two caps and then where the uh, toilet is there's a cap every black pipe that sticks up out of this floor has a cap on there see see the see those right there see there's a cap there there's a cap there here here cap there cap everywhere cap cap <laughs> and at the end of the line where the sewer drain goes out of the house I'll, I'll show you that too there'll be a cap right there and then what they'll do is they'll fill this whole thing up with water they'll get the hose up there they fill this whole thing with water and then when the inspector gets here uh, all all the uh, uh, the subcontract has ha, subcontractor has to do is just turn the hose on and then the inspector just wants to make sure that the water's coming out of that and then as he as he walks around he'll kind of tap on the pipes you know as he as he goes through here he'll tap he'll tap on these on these lines here and I can tell right now they're hollow and when they're full of water you'll know you'll know the inspector will know he'll tap on it and it will be a it, there'll be a thud noise and see um, I know they're not a hundred percent ready for inspection because see this thing's still moving around they don't have that strapped there's a couple other things that I saw that that still have to be strapped and stuff and the uh, subcontractor he'll do that he'll do that uh, whatever morning he knows the inspector's going to be here, or the afternoon the inspector's going to be here, he'll make sure he gets here before that, and get everything buttoned up and stuff. And, and um, I'm just going to kind of talk about this area here. And you see how the, he's got these pipes here, and he ran this across here. And the only reason why he's done that, well, he's done that for a couple different reasons. He wants to make sure all of these pipes are connected interconnected and see he ran that he ran that little threaded uh, male adapter on there remember we saw that last time we were here now he's put a gauge on there see there's a gauge here and he'll pump that up with air he'll take his compressor or a hand pump you take a hand pump it's going to take you forever but they could do it or a little compressor and um see you just undo that you just undo this top. It's it's just like a uh, screw thread uh, for uh, um, your car tire. See, you just and and then they'll just they'll just pump it up. And in fact, I I believe it's silly me. It's already pumped up because you look on here, and um, we see that line there. See there, it's at 70, 72 pounds. So I don't know what it is what's required. Uh, for inspection and uh, but when the inspector gets here he'll make sure that this poundage is in the right spot and then he'll go around and walk around and while he's here he'll he'll look at everything else and you know 15 minutes while he's here before he leaves he'll come over here he'll make sure that this needle has not moved at all because if this needle moves then he knows there's a leak somewhere on one of these pipes okay and that's how you check the water and the last time we were here, I, I got to thinking about it afterwards. I thought, you know what? Most houses have a gas line uh, that they install, you know, for uh, uh, for possible heating and air conditioning units. Usually heating and air conditioning units have gas to them, usually uh, 
for a washer and dryer for your dryer uh, sometimes they'll have they'll give you either or they'll they'll hook up electrical and they'll have an area where if you have a gas dryer you can hook up to the uh, to the gas and then usually in your kitchen there'll be uh, your gas they'll have a gas outlet for a stove and then they might have electrical outlet for a stove so whatever type type of stove you get whether or not it's electric or it's gas uh, you'll have it and and that's usually they usually they try to do that and they give you an option well I didn't see any pipes for that last time and I thought you know what I think I wonder if one of these was the gas um, because they were the same size pipes here before they dropped down to a half inch and I thought maybe one of those is but when I got here tonight I looked and look what I see here here's this black pipe okay and here's another uh, gas meter an air pressure meter and it's already filled up we can see that one is at 28 pounds maybe and this is probably for the gas and um, you see the pipe goes along there and then it zips up and here's here's an area here this is probably a laundry area where there's going to be a washer and dryer is my guess uh, because uh, there's a drain there and there's water valves there there's water valves over there there's another drain there here's something over here in fact uh, could it be a kitchen I don't know where the kitchen's going to be I don't think it's going to be this is this is the uh, garage as, as you come in there there's probably put stairs down in here somewhere and um, this is probably the utility room a wet room and I'll bet you the washer and dryer is going to be over in here and that's what that gas pipe is for and then there's another gas pipe I see over there and they they had another one so let's just keep that in mind and and years ago it used to be black pipe and it was like a galvanized pipe but it was but it was black and it was strictly for uh, gas lines and I and I tapped on this and it sounded kind of funky and I thought is that is that black pipe but if it was black pipe from years ago and you went like this your hand would be all greasy all everywhere but this is almost like a hard heavy plastic of some sort because see see that elbow right there it looks like a plastic some sort of plastic elbow and it comes up over to here and I looked in uh, some other areas and son of a gun I think I think it's a heavy plastic uh, pipe of some sort and they're using that for gas lines now isn't that something and uh, the fittings the fittings actually look like they're metal fittings see see right in there but I don't think they are I think they're a heavy uh, black um, fitting but that's going to be for the gas okay and um, let's just let's just look over here too remember well, I saw that sliding po that sliding uh, piece they just used it as, as a slip and they ran their uh, water line out here they've got the cap on there because that's filled up with with air we know and it came in here and it's just right there at the bottom and it comes up I'm not sure how they're gonna how they're going to brace that down there but it just comes up it's just odd to me how how water lines work nowadays because I'm used to always seeing uh, copper remember I said uh, uh, this area we get snow I don't know if the inspector's going to buy that or not uh, because it's not two feet down in the ground where it's coming out you know they might come they might come up and put a gas uh, water valve here or something but where the water line comes in from the street I know that's going to be that's going to be about two feet deep and is it going to come up and then connect here so all the line uh, from the house out is going to be two feet deep except this little section then that could freeze so I'm, I'm not quite sure if the inspector's gonna gonna buy that or not now see here um, they decided he decided the plumber decided to just leave this capped off and I guess he'll 
he'll do something later. It looks like there's a lavatory here. It says lav stub, hot, hot and cold. And um, the drain, well, the drain's not hooked up. And the water lines, the hot, see here's the hot because it's got the red on there. And the, and the cold has the blue writing on there. Let's see, you see the blue writing on there? See, it's kind of hard to see, but, but um, you can see it right there. There's blue and red. And for some reason, he decided not to stub it up yet. I'm not quite sure why. He's got the ca he's got caps off. Everything's everything's strapped to there. And if he's going to leave it, he's got he's got a reason why, and he'll probably tell the inspector why. Or and and the ins if the inspector really wants to see all the connections uh, after the floor gets on, and if he wants to see the the connections underneath here, he'll have to crawl underneath the house and see how he's he's connected here, stubbed up, and all that. But uh, I, I'm just kind of at a loss of why why they've done that here and and they've stubbed up he stubbed up in other plumbing locations see all all these uh, plumbing locations he's got them all stubbed up out of the floor and that's and see all the all the caps on the black have that cap on there because when he fills it up with water it all has to it all has to hold okay so um, the sun is setting and I'm trying to uh, get through this and I'm trying to get through uh, making another video after this about the um, heating and air conditioning. Here's here's his hose bib, how he slid that in. He's got all that set up properly. And um, I saw he had some other he had some other uh, water lines oh, over here. And remember, we saw all these pipes. If you weren't if you were with me on my last video, I showed you where these water lines are. If you haven't if you haven't seen all my videos you probably should should watch all those and I'm, I'll put them on my on under a playlist and you just go to my main YouTube channel page uh, click on playlists and go down to uh, how to build a house um, I think I'm titling it okay and you'll find all all the videos that you've missed okay here's the here's the hot and cold water that's come up here here's here's their uh, See, he it says sink. They're gonna have a sink right here in the corner, and um, I think he still I think he still has to strap that. Yeah, see there how how it's moving all over the place. So he's not a hundred percent. He's not a hundred percent yet. But see here, here's that black here's that black pipe stuff again. And I know that's plat. That's this is hard plastic, and and he's running across there. And where that fitting is, you. You can tell it's not, it's not black pipe fittings. Ah, I can't zoom in there without it, without it getting, getting to where you can't see it. But I can see where it, it ties in there. There's a T there, and it's not, it's not that regular black pipe that I used to see years ago. And um, see, there's, there's where another toy that's going to be. See, see that pipe there, and then it dips down, and it. And it comes over, and it loops down. <laughs> See that loop? And then it and then it has a long sweep 90, so that when you flush the toilet, it goes this way, and then it goes that way. And then uh, that other pipe off of the end of that elbow goes up, and and that'll connect onto a wall, and that's the vent that goes up goes up to the um, roof. Okay. And um, I was going to show you the uh, drain line that comes out. See. See all of all of his, all of their drain lines uh, throughout the house come over to a main trunk line. See, here's the main trunk line, and then it zips around. And anytime you have a you have a 90 degree elbow on your sewer line, it has to be the long sweep 90s. That's called a long sweep because it's a big a big sweep. If it was just a short elbow, that's just a regular elbow. That's not a long sweep 90. They got they got those. You can't do that because you want to get the uh, the sewer and all the water to come in that way. And at the end of that, you see that piece that just stops, and that's a clean out. They can they can undo that. There's a uh, threaded nut on the end of that pipe, and if the sewer line ever gets ever, ever gets clogged up, they just they just take that they take it they can unscrew that right there. See, and then they can shove their snake down there. 
and and they have some other clean outs uh, over here too I think see here here's one for these smaller pipes see there's one right there and um, and I can see this hasn't been strapped yet this this pipe here has not been strapped yet or anything but uh, I know the next time next time the uh, the plumber is here you know he'll he'll button up all the strapping and then he'll fill his pipe up with with water he'll check his uh, pipes over there that he pumped up and if those if if those leak or if it lowers down how is he gonna check which fitting it is that's that's leaking air I have no idea I don't know what he'll he'll do years ago for gas lines they used to take a spray bottle with uh, soapy water and you sprayed it you'd have to go around on every single threaded uh, coupling threaded elbow threaded T and eventually you would find it because it would bubble and uh, maybe that's how it, they would they would find it uh, for wherever wherever it was leaking you know if it did in fact leak see here's the cap on there they just they just glue those on the end and then um, you can take that out afterwards to to connect you just you just pop it out and that whole middle thing pops out you don't even necessarily have to leave this little piece uh, you, you don't have to take that off you can put your your elbow coupling right over the top of that if you didn't want to take that out because this other thing will pop out at least that's how we used to do it so um, and if you were if you were with me last time and see here 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 he decided he decided to put a different cap this is a cap where you can pull it out and then you can tighten it up and um, I don't know why he did that maybe he maybe he ran out of these glue in type pieces because he could put one right there couldn't he have um, but he decided he decided not to oh well I was thinking maybe he'll maybe he'll uh, he'll do something different there uh, to fill the water up but no he's he'll fill the water there and if you were with me last time as I was saying Remember, we, we saw that the hose bib hadn't been installed. Sure enough, now he's got it installed. And um, it looks like uh, last time we were here, those pipes just went all the way through. All of those went through, and there was no T on that end one coming this way. So, so see, he forgot about it. But yet, today, he remembered about it, and he had to, he had to uh, let's get this out back out of he, he had to cut in and install that T over there so he could run this pipe over here. Good thing he, good thing he walked around. You always want to double check your work when you get done with the project. Even if it's on the plans and, and you've got it all marked, walk around and do your due diligence at the end. Be ready and make sure that if you say you're ready for an inspection, you are ready for an inspection. Okay? And, and even... Let's say you forgot. Let's say you forgot that hose bib. Would the inspector catch that? No. If it's not in, he he doesn't really care. He doesn't care if it's installed or not. That's up to you. That's up to the subcontractor. That's up to the general contractor. Make sure the subcontractor does all of his work. Even when the subcontractor says he's done, it's up to the general contractor to double check everything too, or his project manager or something, so that he can say, "Hey, what about this? What about that? Hey, you forgot to block this up. Hey, didn't you remember there was a sink we we got in the corner, and I, we don't see any plumbing for it? Oh man, sorry about that. We'll get right on it. So you always got to check stuff like that." And uh, see, here, here's another spot for a, uh, a toilet that's probably going to be a toilet right there. That big pipe, the small pipe, is the vent that comes off of a T where the, where the toilet is. And that's going to be up in the wall. And then see, there's only one pipe there, so we know that's the water for uh, filling up the toilet. And then there's another. There's another one over there. That's probably going to be... Um, oh, that's probably a sink. That's probably a vanity sink right there okay and that's probably the vent uh line just for the uh toilet okay because you have to have that coming up that will be the drain line for the sink and the vent you know popping up out of the floor all right so man like i say i'm I, i'm glad i'm not the guy who has to install all of the the flooring because they've got to drill holes they got to measure and drill holes for all that and everything else that's in the floor okay so they're coming along and that's 
how your plumbing is going to look getting ready for inspection. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. Okay, just keep watching and I'll, I'll talk to you more about other things. I'm going to be putting a video together right behind this one that we're going to now talk about the air conditioning because I see that they've got more ducting in here that they've run and I'm going to make a, uh, another video of that. So if you want to watch that, stick around and check her out.